the midday sun beat down on the winding road and the sound of the struggling engine filled the air. Sarah found themselves stranded near the entrance of an ominous jungle. The car sputtered, gasped, and then came to an abrupt halt. Inside the car, frustration painted Sarah's face. What just happened? The car just died! She exclaimed. Cautiously, the group stepped out of the vehicle, exchanging worried glances as the dense foliage rustled ominously around them. Nature seemed to whisper secrets that the wind carried through the eerie jungle. Unbeknownst to them, a mysterious stranger observed from a distance, hidden among the shadows, a wicked smirk playing on their lips. With no other option, the friends ventured into an old, dilapidated house nearby, seeking shelter from the encroaching darkness. The living room welcomed them with an atmosphere that felt thick with foreboding. Nervously, they flicked on a dim flashlight, scanning the room for any signs of danger. In the kitchen, Nancy's discovery sent shivers down their spines, a strange symbol carved into the worn wooden floor. Guys, come and see this! She called out, prompting the group to gather around the mysterious etching, their eyes wide with fear. As night fell, the friends huddled in a cobweb-filled room, shadows dancing on the walls, forming terrifying shapes that seemed to mock their unease. Attempts to sleep were interrupted by a gust of wind blowing through an open window, sending chills down their spines. In the pitch-black darkness that followed, a single candle revealed the lurking stranger in the corner of the room, a twisted smile revealing their malicious intent. I knew you'd fall for it. Easy prey, the stranger taunted. A deadly game ensued, with the friends navigating traps and surprises set by the stranger. In the final confrontation, determination prevailed as they overpowered the sinister figure, unmasking them as a greedy treasure hunter. You thought you could scare us away so you could take the treasure all for yourself, Sarah accused. The arrival of the police marked the end of the nightmarish ordeal. The stranger was arrested, and the friends, shaken but victorious, consoled each other in the light of day. As they drove away from the haunted house, the jungle in their rearview mirror, the repaired car carried them back to reality. Shadows of deception lingered, but the friends emerged from the darkness, leaving behind the terrors that had tested their courage and camaraderie.